This week we are hosting the UK ESF Electronics Head Start Summer Score. Head Start Summer Scores are a fantastic opportunity for younger students to gain an idea of where they could go with their maths and science at A levels. Hi, my name is Dylan and I come from Northern Ireland and I'm here at Head Start to learn more about electrical engineering. So I came on this course because I was really, really interested to find out what else I could achieve with my future careers and future plans because I'm really interested in electronics and nanotechnology and where that technology could take us in the future. I've always had an interest in engineering, um, specifically electronics. So coming to this Sheffield Head Start course, I've just, um, I came here to see if I really do want to do um, electronic engineering and what it takes to be a good engineer in general. Hi, I'm Ellie, I'm from Surrey, and I came here to explore engineering and see what it's like to do it at uni and get a bit more of a hands-on experience in the labs so I can make more of an informed decision in the future. Engineering has been a real interest in me for quite a while and I'm also really interested in electronics so I decided to go on this course so that I can learn more about it and gain experience in this field. The Danger Lab was good because we got to kind of got an overview of how the, the safety works and what procedures uh, all the lecturers have to go through and in the lab for each piece of equipment. The, cho the frozen chocolate was fun, especially when we got to dip it in the liquid nitrogen. And it just shattered everywhere. <laughs> so there's a PCB that each of the students make, which is an ultrasonic receiver, and there's two of them. So there's one on the left and one on the right, and they're fastened to this Lego robot. And the idea is that these two boards will detect the intensity of an ultrasonic signal from a beacon that we place somewhere else in the room and the robot navigates towards it. I think the project's quite exciting and it, um, it's not, the difficulty is just right, so it's for all backgrounds of electrical engineering. Um, we've both been working together to um, start um, putting these ultrasonic ultra receivers together and we've started soldering, um, everything like that. We've each taken up um, a PCB and we're going to put them together into one um, robot. So I've actually started soldering for the first time. I've never actually done it before and it was actually really exciting because um, it's something I've wanted to do and never had the same opportunities to do it as other people. So but with everyone else helping me around, it's been really useful. Um, and then next we're planning on attaching the two PCBs um, onto the robot and testing them out with some other sensors so that we can get like a, a whole picture of what to do and start a competition. I'm really excited for it all. And there's a competitive element to this project as well, so the students are not being assessed, it's not an exam, but there is a competition that they're taking part in. And there are uh, multiple stages to that, and they're all, some of them are individual and some of them are group elements. So there's an individual competition where we look at the quality of assembly in effect of each of these PCBs. Then there's some prizes based on the sensitivity of the receiver, because depending on how you set up these boards, some will work better than others. So we're going to characterise the performance of them on the, third, on, the, um, on the Wednesday, and those that have got the best range, which we're going to measure in this lab here, will get a prize. And then the remaining three prizes are all about its ability as a navigating robot. So how good is it at uh, navigating towards a beacon that's straight ahead? How quickly can it get there? How good is it at navigating towards a beacon that's perhaps in a rather obtuse direction, it has to navigate and turn a corner and get to it? And the final competitive element is how good is it at rejecting an interfering beacon? And then in the evening we've given them a taster of the university elements and we've got the Circus Skills Society in and they've been out to the town to look around the local city centre as well. It's just a really amazing way for them to gain a full experience about what they want to do in the future, life at university and degrees in electronic and electrical engineering.